going by the nickname Pancho Villa. In 1910, Villa was convinced to join with Francisco Madero's revolutionary uprising against Mexican dictator Porfirio Diaz. His knowledge of the land and the people of northern Mexico proved very valuable to Madero's cause. Villa put together and commanded a division of soldiers and contributed to the eventual success of the revolution. In May of 1911, Villa married and retired from the army. This retirement, however, would be short-lived. Just a year later, during the rebellion of Pascal Orozco, Villa gathered troops to defend new president Madero. During this period, Villa had a falling out with General Victoriano Huerta. Villa was sentenced to death and sent to prison. While he was eventually granted a stay of execution, he was not released from prison. Taking matters into his own hands, Villa escaped from prison and fled to the United States. A year later, in 1913, when President Madero was assassinated by General Huerta, Villa once again put together an army of several thousand men and was part of a rebellion against the new president. His victories on the field were such that he became the governor of the new state of Chihuahua, and the uprising as a whole succeeded in removing Huerta from power. All would not stay well, however, as in 1914, Villa had a falling out with Venustiano Carranza, his former ally and leader of this latest uprising. Villa now had to flee Mexico. Unfortunately for him, the United States was supporting Carranza's government at the time. This led Villa to demonstrate that he was a force to be reckoned with in the North. In January of 1916, he and his band killed 17 U.S. citizens at Santa Isabel. Two short months later, they killed another 17 in Columbus, New Mexico. Although President Wilson set a party to bring him to justice, Villa was never caught. In 1920, with the fall of Carranza's regime, Villa was granted a pardon contingent on the secession of his revolutionary activity. Part of the agreement was that he would be given a ranch in Chihuahua. Three years after his retirement, Pancho Villa was assassinated. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit us on the web at about.com. Está esperando. El torreón que será tu tumba. Action, Senor Griffiths. Action. Action. Attention, soldados villistas! Attention, revolucionario! La hora del ataque ha llegado! Ahora de un México libre ha llegado. Lo que ven al frente no es Torreón. Es el futuro. Es el pan. Es la libertad.
Whoa, Pancho, what's the matter? You guys betrayed me! Whoa, Pancho, take it easy, bro. No, you die! Are you gringo? I'm American, sir. Audi, Texas. Okay. Viva Mexico! <coughs> That's a Laker shirt. He's American. Ah, he's there. Gonna go kill him. Hey, you! Toma esto!